In this video, we are going to see how to use this touch sensor TTP223. Now it is working as touch sensor and we can use this as remote control also. So we are going to see this on this video. Let's get started. This is the sensor. As you can see, both point A and B are open. We have to solder point B. As you can see here, I have soldered point B. In the board, you can see the 6 pin IC. This is the IC 223. As you have seen, it has 6 pin, pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Pin number 1, it is output. As you can see, it has 3 pin, ground, output and the VCC. So this output pin is connected to the middle pin. Pin number 2 is ground and pin number 3 is input. Input means touchpad, you can say. Pin number 4 is also input pin. If 1 is its pin value, then this IC will work as an active low and if the pin value is 0, then it will work as active high. Pin number 5 is VCC, will connect plus 5 volt and pin 6 is also an input pin. If the pin value is 1, then it will work as a toggle mode and if the pin value is 0, then it will work as direct mode. And I already uploaded a video on these 4 modes, link in the description below. Now as you can see, pin number 3 is input pin or touchpad. So we will connect a 1 mega ohm resistor with this pin number 3. As you can see here, I have connected a 1 mega ohm and we will connect this with a IR receiver. This is the IR receiver. The first pin is input, the middle pin is ground and the third pin it is plus 5 volt. Now whenever this will receive the IR frequency and according to the mode we will get the output. So with the output we can connect any load. So I am connecting a transistor and emitter is connected to the ground and with the collector we have to connect the 5 volt load. You can connect anything in between this. A relay is best. So with the relay you can control anything. It will have 3 pins, common, normally close and normally open. So this will be our circuit. Now we will see this on practical and we can use any kind of NPN transistor. I am using BC548. Now we will see this on practical. We have to use only this 3 pin and this 1 mega ohm resistor. So I am putting this on the breadboard. The VCC is connected with positive rail. Ground is connected to the negative rail. Here is our IR sensor. This is the front side and this pin number 1 it is input, middle pin is ground and the third pin is VCC. Connected to the positive rail, middle pin is connected to the ground and with the first pin we have to connect the 1 mega ohm resistor. Ok, it is connected. You have to connect it very carefully. With the middle pin of the sensor, that is output pin, I have connected a 10 kilo ohms resistor. The first pin, it is collector, middle pin is base and third pin, it is emitter. I am connecting the collector to the positive and in between emitter and ground, you can connect your load. In the circuit diagram, I have shown on this part, you can connect the load in between emitter and the ground also and collector is directly connected to the plus 5 volt. You can connect this way or this way as your wish. Here this is the 5 volt relay. One pin of the relay is connected to the ground. It is relay coil and with the other pin of the coil the emitter is connected. And as we know a freewheeling diode must be connected with the relay in reversed bias. So this diode is also connected. Common pin of the relay is connected to the positive 5 volt. As I am going to use an LED. You can use anything. And with normally open pin. Here is my LED. A negative pin of the LED is connected to the ground. So you know this connection how to connect a load with this relay. 
positive rail and negative rails are connected together. I have connected a 1 kilo ohm resistor, not 10 kilo ohms. Now I am connecting plus 5 volt. Here it is positive and the negative. Now we will see whether touch is working or not. Yes, touch works. Now we will see the IR sensor. And this is also working. So this is how you can use your TTP223 to IR sensor. And it has, as it has four modes, so you can change according to your wish. And I already discussed about these four modes, link in the description below. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.